So I want to give you an update on my build. Um, episode one, kind of a recap, showed you guys just the, you know, the fun, the exciting day of getting it off the trailer and picking it up. So um, let me show you what I did. When I ordered my kit, um, I ordered mine not being um, powder coated. I didn't want the gray and I felt like the local guy I have down here by me could do it. I saved about a thousand bucks. So having it powder coated and having all the other parts powder coated, the main parts, um, saved me quite a bit of money. So here it is. I went with some matte black, the whole thing. And uh, let me just show you what I've been doing. So first thing, while I was waiting for my, um, I was waiting for things to get powder coated, I took the, the uh, great big crate that they come in and I cut up my metal and just made some, uh, I made some wing holders. And so you can see these are pretty cool. I basically took the existing pieces off of the crate, just kind of, I sawzalled them, just cut them off. And then I took and welded these stands up and built myself some stands so that I basically have my wing stands all built. My wings are on the wall right there and these are the actual pieces that came off so they slide and fit right in. So I've got two wing stands. So during the last week, I took, made those, then while everything was being powder coated, kind of the next thing I did is I went through, I inventoried everything. And then I went through and I had all of the small parts. Um, I cleaned them, prepped them, primed them, painted them, and clear coated them black matte to match um, all the bigger parts that I was having powder coated. And so, you know, these turned out really nice. The ones that just needed some small pieces like the end caps painted, um, all of this done, pretty cool. So everything is powder coated and cleaned and prepped. Undersides are cleaned. You know, when you get these and they're not uh, powder coated, there's quite a bit of rust on them, which I was surprised. Um, so I've, I've done a whole bunch of work and prepping and painting, um, clear coating with a mat. Um, all of the parts that should be or I wanted to have um, powder coated. So as an example, there's the uh, manual trim lever. Um, but all of that is done. And then I'll show you, there's my wing spars. Those are all powder coated and wrapped and protected. So they're all set and ready to go. And then what I've done here, I just started kind of messing around. And, you know, I'm basically going through the manual. So I've got my... Uh, basically my floorboards and I'm going to putting the baggage in, putting in the initial pieces. And here's a couple of things that I learned. So first thing is, you know, um, the crating and the packaging is awesome. The manual um, you, leaves a lot. You got to extrapolate quite a bit for the manual from what I've been reading. And one thing, um, if you get your, if you, if your plane is powder coated when you receive it from Just Aircraft, um, then you're gonna run into the same problem. And I'm, some of you have already done this and I would love your comments on this. I wish what I had done when I first received the airplane, so flooring all of that sharp tin um, and aluminum, I wish that I had pre-fit everything, cut it, got it all measured up, and then done my powder coating. Cause when you go in and out with the tin, um, excuse me, the tin, you know, the aluminum and the uh, the steel. Holy cow, those edges are sharp and it's a tight fit and you end up scratching your powder coating and so you have to touch that up. So, you know, my, my next step is I basically took and on these, as I'm trial fitting these pieces, I'm just wrapping the edges in uh, painter's tape so they go in and out better. So when I'm, you know, when I'm marking what I think might need to be cut out um, I can mark it, I can kind of slide it in there and fit it, and the edges aren't so sharp that when they go in and out of the, the powder coating, I'm not jacking things up. And so that's, that's something to think about, but I've kind of got things ready to go. So initially, really pleased with the way the powder coating came out. I went with the black, that flat black, and uh, I am still trying to decide. I think I'm going to go yellow with some yellow trim, possibly red, but... Um, that's where I'm at. So step one, you know, I'm basically just getting my pieces cut and trimmed and in. This is my first airplane build. So, 
If you guys have some suggestions on things you've done different in terms of getting the baggaging in and the metal in, um, where you kind of got to get it in and kind of tweak it, I think what I'm going to do tomorrow, one of my steps is I'm actually going to make some cardboard molds. Take cardboard, cut it out the exact piece size, fit it in, trim the cardboard, then I'm going to lay it on the metal, mark it, make those trim cuttings, and then put it in. So here it is. This is the Highlander, man, and I am so stoked. So this is my shop. It's not very big. Um, it's about 15 feet wide. It's about 40 feet long. So it's just enough room. This is where I actually keep my fishing boat, and that's, that's outside right now. So poor thing. So this is where I'm going to be doing all my build, and I've got my benches and everything set up and ready to go. And like I said, here's all my pre-parts, small parts that are all powder-coated. Um, and then uh, I have my pallet here of all my powder coated parts. So step one, I'll start uh, on the next part of the build. I'll show you guys what I'm doing in terms of getting it put together. And you can ride along and see me make the mistakes and uh, learn from me, I hope. But I'd love your feedback on this video. You know, shoot some comments on how, you'd, how you would best fit the baggage area to make it go in because, man, where the welds are, that's tough. Those are tough spots to get to get them in. They give you that piece and it's it's large and it's just slightly oversized. So getting it in there without scratching it has been kind of the trick. So I'm gonna go with cardboard, measure it, do the cardboard cut, lay it on, scribe, and then I'm gonna cut it out and see what happens from there. But uh, that's it, man. So uh, next step, you know, I'm just gonna follow through the manual. And, and like I said, it's okay. I wish it had come printed. They send you a couple of DVDs, and I actually do all my work on a Mac for my business, so I had to find somebody with a PC, get it into PDF, and then I went and had them printed. Um, and, you know, some of it, it's just a quick paragraph and tells you grab these screws, do this cut, and you're kind of extrapolating. I know for the, some of you are builders, you know you've done it before. There's some knowledge there where you're like, okay, yeah, I've already done that. But, okay, so other than that, I will, uh, I'll see you on the next video, and... And I'll start showing you what I'm doing and the mistakes I'm making and how I'm learning on this. And, and uh, you guys can kind of guide me through it as well. Love your feedback. As long as you're kind, be nice. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the backside.